Hello guys, I'm Rich Critic here, and um, if you're wondering, I'm kind of back in my room, filming my closet, I'm filming uh, right, uh, right in front of my closet, um, and I don't know, I just think it's a more easier spot to film, and you know, I just think it's better, it's an easier and better location to film myself in, you know, why not, you know, I, I, li I like it here, it's more, it's more straightforward, simple, and you know, I, I don't mind it, um, but look, um, so, if you're wondering, yes, I'm just wearing my regular glasses. I just want to try a new style. I just want to be a little bit more of myself, you know. I'm not wearing sunglasses right now. I mean, if you guys want to wear sunglasses, that's fine. But, um, you know, um, I'm just, you know, just being myself. Just wearing my regular glasses. And, yes, I don't have my sunglasses on. You know, I, I did that as being, I, I put the sunglasses on as just being a character. I mean, I, I don't mind the sunglasses. I mean, if, if, if you guys want me to... Putting sunglasses back on, just let me know in the comments. But the sun, I mean, well, the sun, okay, the sunglasses thing was just for my character. But right now, I'm just being myself, just wearing my regular glasses. Just give me my I mean, I, I just kind of just want to be myself, just wearing my regular glasses. You know, I just like doing that. But, but like, look, listen, I mean, and, well, and I don't know, it just depends because I just think wearing the sunglasses have like a nice style to me. I don't know. We'll see about that. Uh, but I'm, I, I don't know, maybe we'll see, but actually, no, I think I'm just completely fine with just wearing my regular glasses, you know, I just want to be myself more and just show my real face to people, you know, I want you guys to see the real me, I just want you guys to see what I really look like, but, um, but right now, but it, but today in this video, I'm just going to do like a little comeback video, I'm going to like, um, do a little nice, um, little review, uh, for my little comeback, but, but for those of you guys who are new to my channel, welcome. This is the uh, I'm Virtual Critic, and my channel is called Virtual Critic Man. Uh, click the like and subscribe. Um, in this channel, I talk about you know movies. I review them. I do a rant on a lot of bad films. Um, I talk about video games. I review some video games. I talk. I you know review TV shows. I kind of you know I review culture and entertainment news I talk about um, you know I talk about you know entertainment news I talk about culture pop culture I talk about you know what's going what's happening on the internet once in a while but I mostly do fun rant videos and well rant videos that are deserving of I talk about just my thoughts on movies and films I've seen video games I play or video games I don't mind playing once in a while uh, I talk about like I talk about many things I talk about but you know I talk about a lot of stuff that were retro, and you know, I do retrospectives, you know, um, I do, you know, stuff that's like old school, because I am old school, um, I do, I talk about nostalgia things, uh, I talk about, like, I talk about many things, I talk about, but, you know, I talk about a lot of stuff that were retro, and you know, I do retrospectives, you know, um, I do, you know, stuff that's like old school design. I do like nostalgia. And I look at things at a objective perspective, I take my nostalgia goggles off and I just look at them in an objective lens. I look at things critically. I'm a that's why I call myself I'm a retro critic because you know I like talking about retro things, retro old school things, and I'm a critic, so that's why I call myself a retro critic. So that's kind of what this channel is about, and that's why I do in this channel. But for those of you who are new, welcome. Uh, you can click like and subscribe if you want to. Um, I'm, I'm welcoming a lot of new fans and old fans. But uh, but today, I just like you know, I just want to be myself and just have a new style. And I um, just want to do a comeback video. And today is going to be a little rant video, a little review rant video for my little return, for my little epic comeback. So, uh, but I also want to say for my old subscribers, I love my old subscribers. Thank you for my fans. I want to just say thank you for all my subscribers and all my old fans. I love you guys. You know, I love people saying nice things in the comments. You know, I love all you guys, as you all know. But, but I'm doing this video just to get the groove back on. You know, I'm making this video just just get the hangs of things, just to get the gist of back to making videos. You know, I want to feel comfortable what I'm doing. I want to just be passionate what I'm doing again. And, you know, I just want to get the groove on. I want to get the gist of doing things like that again. So, so today in this video, I'm going to talk about what I always want to talk about. And I think... And I think today's video is a good opportunity to talk about this again, but I'm going to be talking about Teen Titans Go. Now, <laughs> if you're wondering, 
I did talk about, if you guys are like old the channel and watch me for a while, um, maybe wondering like, uh, oh, like didn't I already review to talk about Teen Titans Go? And yes, I did. Um, a few years ago, I did talk about Teen Titans Go, and I did a analysis video. I actually, I basically reviewed it and just give my honest thoughts on it. God forbid I give my honest opinions on something nowadays, in today's society. But like, but what happened was that those old Teen Titans Go videos were taken down by copyright by Warner Brothers and Cartoon Network because I, well Cartoon Network works close to Warner Brothers and HBO Max um, with like Time Warner you know so Time Warner and Warner Brothers mostly Warner Brothers that like owns Teen Titans Go and Cartoon Network because they have an alliance with Cartoon Network and Teen Titans Go they basically own my copyright property they basically take down the video for copyright. Because look, I mean, if you thought Viacom was bad, who basically owned Nickelodeon, um, Warner Brothers is worse when you copyright, so you gotta be careful. Because they're just as bad, if not worse, than Viacom. Because if you thought Viacom was bad, they're re they're really awful. I mean, well, Viacom, if you guys if you guys are wondering, or own Viacom owned Nickelodeon, and there's many stories where Viacom took down copyright by showing SpongeBob episodes or even just talking about. They're very strict with their copyright laws. Like they're very, they're very strict with their copyright laws. So like, take down videos, Nickelodeon, Nickelode clips from Nickelodeon for copyright reasons. So very infamous for that. But Warner Brothers is just another level of bad. Like Warner Brothers can be really strict with their copyright law. They're very protective of their own copyright law. So that's kind of what happened to the old videos. I don't know if I really want to re-upload them again. I might post them in a, in, in a different website. I don't know. We'll see, guys. But in this video, I want to just talk about, just for the record, what I think about TN's Go. And just, just you know, it's been, I'm self-reflecting, really. And, and and like I said, I don't know if I really want to repost post TN's Go. I don't think I ever will post, re-upload TN's Go ever again the channel. Because I, even when I re-upload them, I, I think Warner Brothers and YouTube took down the video again, so I don't think I'll re-upload them. Maybe in a separate channel, maybe in a, actually no, maybe in a separate website, maybe I'll post them in a drive, maybe I'll post them in a link in a drive, I don't know, we'll see. But as of now, I want to make this video to talk about, it's a good opportunity to talk about my thoughts on TNN's Go and just put it on the record. Um, I want to just, you know, because, you know, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm self-reflecting. It's been years now, and I think it's been, like, maybe a few years when I talk about that show. So I just want to put out there how I feel about that show. And for the record, guys, I never liked Teen Titans Go. I think Teen Titans Go, to this day, is a piece of shit. Um, I think Teen Titans Go is the worst thing that's ever come out of Cartoon Network. I think Teen Titans Go is a fucking disgrace, and you know it. And so on and so forth. And just to put it out there on my stance, I always felt like Teen Titans Go... Ruined Cartoon Network. I mean, they, they literally air that show a majority of the time on the block. I think they do le less now, but at the time, they literally air that show. I always hated that show. It was not funny to me. It felt, it was a disgrace to the original, of course. And and I remember people gave me flack. And I don't know if these were just little kids or people that were sent for the show, um, but they gave me so much shit. And, and you have to understand, this was the time when people were shitting on TM's Go, and I was one of them. And you gotta understand, those people were, were rightfully so shooting on Teen Titans Go. Because that show aired on the block Cartoon Network constantly. Like, they, they, it aired on the block constantly. They, they literally aired that show a majority of the time. They literally aired that show a majority of the time, all the time. I think they aired that show. I, I think they kind of balance out with other shows now, but I think they still air that show. I think they still air Teen Titans Go, for God's sake. But still. Um, but I have to understand, at the time, Teen Titans Go was everywhere, and the internet was in angry, everybody was shitting on it, everybody was criticizing Teen Titans Go, rightfully so, for good reasons, for good, reasonable, valid reasons. You know, everybody did not, it was like the worst show, show they've ever seen, they couldn't stand it, it was a disgrace to the original, it was the worst show out there, people hated it, I mean, trust me, people despised that show, even I myself did. So I jumped on the back wagon at the time, um, I also critiqued and gave my honest opinions on it. And gave my thoughts on the show. But you gotta understand, this show was a disgrace. It's basically like a spinoff of the original. And it's not even a good one at that. Like, where is Teen Titans Season 6? Okay, people want us Teen Titans Season 6, but instead they got Teen Titans Go, a kid version ripoff 
of, or spinoff, sorry, a kid version spinoff of Teen Titans Go. It's like a comedic version of Teen Titans, of Teen Titans. But what's funny is Teen Titans already did have humor. They had satirical humor. You know, they bounce off the comedy and seriousness. Like, that, did, that sure did a good job with tone. You know, it bounced off of funny and comedy. It bounced off of humor and seriousness. And, and it bounced off of action, comedy, and it worked well. That's why people love the show. Where's season six? Now, speaking of season six, like, I think the guy wanted to make it, but I, did, I think the guy wanted to greenlit season six. Like, the guy that created the show wanted to greenlit season six, but that didn't come to, for tuition, unfortunately. And I don't think they'll never get it. But... The Teen Titans have appeared in Justice League, and they appeared, and they might one day appear in a new series or movie. I don't know. We'll see. But Teen Titans Go got a movie, for God's sake. Um, but but it's nice that the Teen Titan characters um, appeared in Justice League. Young Justice, sorry, they appeared in Young Justice. They might get a, a new. They might appear, they appear in a new series. So the characters live on. They might appear in a new series. The characters live on. I mean, they're DC comic book characters, for God's sake. I mean, I mean. The cyborg character was in, like, Justice League. I mean, they're, they're based on comic book. I mean, they're, they're DC characters, for God's sake. But the cy cyborg was in um, the, the Zack Schneider Justice League, so that's a good thing. That's one thing. So the characters live on. The characters will always be with us. But Teen Titans had such a cult following. It was such a disappointment when, like, season five ended. But but then people got this shit. So understandably so, they give us this shit. And, and this show is so fucking unfunny. There are times they even troll fans that like the original. How fucking dare they? And I, I, I'm very aware of the fact... Let me let me correct something um, that I made. Teen Titans Go is a satire comedy. I don't think I ever mentioned that Teen Titans Go was supposed to be a satire comedy. That's a, that's a mistake I want to correct right now. So, for the record, yes, I did not mention it was a satire comedy. I did not recognize it was... I did not know it was intentionally trying to be a satire comedy. I know it was trying to be a comedy, but a satire, really... But, um, but yes, Teen Titans Go is intentionally trying to be a satire. But, okay, if Teen Titans Go is trying to be a satire, it's the worst fucking satire i ever seen in my life. Like, it's not even a good satire at that, to be honest with you, at best, to be honest with you. So, so not only is it a bad satire, it's a piece of shit, it's so unfunny, and not only is it, it's a disgrace to the original show, but it, it, like, trolls fans, I, like... There's times they troll fans or they make fun of fans that like the original. Like, I know they're trying to be funny, but like, or they just want to mess with people, but no, that fucking sucks. No, that's fucking stupid and I hate it. Nobody likes that. And, oh, goodness. Like, people were so mad when Season 5 ended. Like, people were so disappointed when that show was canceled. Disappointed when Season 5 was canceled. And, 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 and look, Teen Titans had such a cult following. Like, understand me so, Teen Titans had such a great cult following. And people understand me so were upset when this show came out. So people were reasonably upset when this show came out. And this show was so just unbearable to watch. This show just had such a punchable face when you watch it. I'm serious. But this show, oh my god, so awful. But let me just say this. When I talk, but yes, it is true that at the time, at the height of the hate of the show, I, I jumped on the bandwagon. And I got so much flack for that. And I remember people, and I don't know if these were fucking kids or simps for the show. I mean, these the have got to be kids that liked it. But there are people that liked it, and they didn't respect my opinion because they thought I was one of the, Because they, 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 these people seem to be annoyed that other people were trashing the show that they liked, or they just couldn't stand the hate or the, the, the valid criticism, and they attack people who didn't like it, or they get annoyed at people that, like, criticize the show they liked, which I'm like, hey, that's fine to you, you know? Look, that's fine if you like it, but don't shit in people that hate the show or reasonably criticize it. That's why I fucking cannot stand it. I literally got comments over that. And I'm not referring to my fans. I love my subscribers. My fans still stand by me. I love my fans. I'm not referring to them. I love my fans. Guys, I love you guys. My subscribers always stand by me. My, my, my subscribers stand, always stand by me. I love those guys. I'm not referring to them. I always love those guys. They stand by They were always there for me. We were on the same team. You guys are, no, you guys are cool. I love you guys. But my subscribers... No, I love my subscribers. My subscribers, I love. I love those guys. You know, uh, really good people. But I'm, I'm. But I'm referring to the people that like, you, you know, just said some shit about me in the comment section. Because yes, there were people that like shitted me in the comment section at the time when I upload those videos. And these people, again, I swear to God, like they seem to be annoyed because they have to remember this was at the time of like the height when people were shitting on the show and at, at, at like the height of the hate of the show. 
And these people seem to be annoyed of when that I was criticizing the show. Because they saw me as like, oh god, another person criticizing a shit on a show that I liked. And, and they seem to be fed up with that and they gave me like hate in the comments. So for people that like cannot stand hate, they give me hate themselves. So god, I fucking cannot stand those people. But let me just say something. And those people, oh, they couldn't stand hate, well, they gave me hate. So I, I no, fuck your hate. Because listen, those, these people, like, I don't know what their fucking problem is. Like, seriously, like, if you like the show, that's fine. Like, hey, like, um, power to you, okay? Like, there's nothing wrong with having a different opinion and expressing yourself. That's fine. That's totally fine. But I don't like the show. But don't shit on somebody where somebody does not like the show that you like. Or don't, like, attack somebody where somebody is criticizing a show that you like, for God's sake. It's called free speech. It's called be an adult. Well, listen, but I swear to God, like, like, God forbid... You're expressing your true opinion nowadays in today's society. Like, for, God forbid, all I did is express my honest thoughts. Like, I, I was literally just expressing my honest thoughts and feelings on the show. And people gave me so much flack for that. Because God forbid you say criti critical things about a show that you like. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that people hate. Oh, they talk about hate. Like, you guys are haters. They talk about, you can't say hate. Like, these are, the people, these are the same people that could not stand haters. Well, guess what? You guys are haters. And, God forbid, somebody criticizes a show that you like, or says some bad things on a show you like. They say some bad things on the shit. God forbid, they say some bad things on a shitty show that you like. Like, I, I do not, I respectfully do not understand why people like that show, but, God forbid, I said some honest things about it, but no. Seriously, those people need to get a grip. Okay, seriously. Like, all I did is, like, criticize a shitty show that I do not understand why I like. Like, I, I, respectfully, guys, respectfully, I do not understand why people like that show. Like, I respectfully do not understand why you like that show, but that's fine. Power to you, you know? Strokes for different folks, I guess. But, like, listen, like, but seriously, these people have issues. Like, these people, I just do not, I don't, I, I do not understand. I, I feel like, like, Seriously, I got attacked for that, but just because I expressed my honest opinions and I said my honest to God, my honest thoughts on a show that you happen to like, don't shun that person. And God forbid I say something like that and, and you people shit on that. So uh, don't shun somebody who, who like says that. So those people need to get a grip. Those people need to shut the fuck up. Those people need to be an adult. Those people need to grow a spine. And grow up for once and get a life. Because they need to put powder on their furry balls and grow the fuck up. And, okay, so those people out there, fuck you. Those people out there, fuck you. Seriously. Those people need to just die. I cannot stand those people. Like, God forbid. Don't tell me, but look, what I'm trying to say is, don't, don't like, go after people who you disagree with. Like, don't, don't attack somebody that you disagree with. Or, like, don't, like, go after somebody says something about a show you like. God forbid, don't attack somebody that, that does not reflect your opinion or does not have the same worldviews you do, for God's sake. Don't, like, go, don't go after somebody who, like, you know, critiques a show that you like. Come on. That's ridiculous. Don't, don't go after somebody that, like, you know, you know, talks critically on a show that you like. Like, come on. Grow up. That's ridiculous. Oh, okay, sorry. Get that out of my chest. Just get that out of my chest. I'm gonna talk about the show. Okay, so now the show. So, this show, you know, apparently, you know, it's... I, I mean, there's no plot. It's just, every day is just, you know, the adventures of, like, the Teen Titans. Raven, Starfighter, Beast Boy, Cyborg, Robin. All they do is just stupid shenanigans every day. I mean, this show literally gaslights the audience nonstop. I mean, there's no plot. There's no story. It's just a dumb episode every fucking day. That's all it is. That's all what the show's about. It it gaslights the audience, controls people, does stupid jokes, or does stupid... Like, it tries to be like... It tries to be like... It tries to appeal to the TikTok generation. They try to say a lot of Gen Z words. I'm sorry, but fuck you. Not only is the show trying too hard, it's just so unfunny, and so... Unap and so fake to me, I could not stand it. And I, and I remember... And I don't know why this got a movie. The fact this got a movie is disgrace and laughable. And I remember I said positively, like, and I still got shit for it. Fuck you. And the fact that this got a movie, like, why a movie? Come on, that was shit. That that was shit. That was so. That has to be the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. It is such 
like a sad thing that that even became a thing. Like why? Who thought of that? What idiot became? What idiot thought of that? I, I mean, it, it's just it's just it's just really stupid. Okay, but. And I remember, here's the thing, guys. I remember, I, I think I said one positive thing. I, like, I think I remember that I said, I said, uh, I remember I said one positive thing about the show, and it was like, the night begins to shine, and people gave me so much shit for that. And, people, and so people, and fuck you. So I remember, I said one positive thing about the show. I remembered, I reviewed one episode of the show, and I said one positive thing about it, and that's where I, I reviewed the episode, The Night Begins to Shine. The night... In, in The Night Begins to Shine, I talk about how that episode had, had nice visuals. I think The Night Begins to Shine has some nice music in it, but that's it. I mean, I'm not watching that nowadays. I'm really not. But people get, still give me shit for that. So the, for those people out there, fuck you. But listen, like, that episode, I said some nice things about it. I, I, I still got flack when I said positive things about it. Are you kidding me? And, like, I, I think the only positive thing I said about that episode was it had nice visuals and the music was decent, that's it. Now the visuals, I think is decent. I think the visuals are just okay, looking back at it. The music is not something I would prefer. It's not the type of music I would not go back and watch, to be honest with you, uh, or prefer. I, I, in fact, looking back at it, I don't think I like, nah, I don't think I like music. It, the music is decent. I think the music is serviceable, but it's not the type of music that I would like listen to, if you know what I mean. But other than that, even when I said, even when I said nice things about it, people still give me fact for that. Even when I try to say nice things about the show, people still give me flack for that. And those people can go fuck themselves. People still give me shit for that. People still give me shit for that. Even when I say nice things about the show, people still give me flack for that. Fuck you. These people need to get a grip. I mean, these people give me these people give me so much flack. It's ridiculous. Those people can go fuck themselves. Those people um, need to get, to get their head out of their ass. Those people are fucking up. Those people have fucking issues. Those people um, need to get a fucking grip and get their and get their penis out of their ass and get their like finger out of their, and get their finger out of their ass. Um, but look, that aside, get that dildo up your asshole. Get that dildo up your asshole. You know, just get that knife out of your crotch. Knife out of your big asshole. Trust me, I'm gonna just try my best to get that knife out of your asshole. But like, listen. <sighs> this show, other than that, this show is shit. Like, the booty scooty thing, what the fuck was that? Again, this show is, like, trying to appeal to the TikTok generation. TikTok, was first of all, fuck TikTok. Like, come on, nobody likes TikTok. Fuck TikTok. Um, I mean, some people like it, but not for me. Look, some people like TikTok, but not for me. Those young, not for me. Young people like TikTok, but not for me, okay? But it, it, it's, it, it tries so hard to be cringe, and it says the word cringe overly and overly, so, for a show that tries so hard to be cringe, this show, them, they themselves, this show itself, keeps saying the word cringe. They, they literally say the word cringe. Oh, that was cringe. Oh, that's, so, that's so cringe. Fuck you. Fuck you. Get, get your head out of your ball sack. So unfunny. They think they're being clever, but they're not. This show thinks it's being clever, but it's not. And, seriously, like, the people who write their show literally think they're fucking funny. No. The people who write this show literally think that they're fucking funny. But no, they're not, okay? Sorry to break it to you. Sorry to burst your bubble, but they're not. The people who make this show literally... It, it's scary to think people who wrote this show think they're actually funny. And let me tell you something. They're not funny. It's sad. It's scary to me that they actually think they're being funny. But no, I'm sorry, but they're not being funny. Seriously. I'm sorry for popping your bubble, but fuck you. It's like all it is is where the Teen Titans, Robin, Raven, Cyborg... Starfighter, Beast Boy, Robin, they just go around and fuck around. You know, that's all they do. Robin, Beast Boy, Cyborg, Raven, they just goof around. So that's all they do. Just goof around, have shenanigans. It's just, there's no plot and story. There's no plot and story. It, it, it's just a tribute. It, it's just reference to the old show, and that's it. It's just making fun of why the old show's great, and that's not good at all. It's just Robin. And Beast Boy, Cyborg, Raven, Starfighter, they're, they're a show them for themselves, and they fuck around. They literally fuck around, that's it. They're a show them for themselves, they just goof around, they, they just goof around and just do Gen Z shit and all that shit. Which, the fact that it's trying to be like Gen Z is just sad and fuck you, but still. Gen, <laughs> that's trying to be Gen Z. But they're acting like Gen Z kids and stupid. They're literally acting like a bunch of stupid Gen Z teenagers and stupid to watch. Seriously. And at the same time... 
it, 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 it's just stupid. It's fucking garbage. And, and Booty Scooty, oh god, Booty Scooty, I remember, there was a there was a, there was an episode where they like shake their butt, it's like where they're like shaking their butt, it's like they're dapping, I don't know, it's like, god, they're fapping, no, um, Booty Scooty. Booty, booty Scooty, what kind of, oh my god, Booty Scooty, what kind of fucking name is that, but, it's where they're twerking, yeah, it's where they're sh twerking in an extreme sense, that's what Booty Scooty is, so, yeah, so, they're basically twerking and showing their ass in front of kids, like, how's this for fucking kids, there's a scene where they're twerking, and they're, but it's like with music, so they're twerking with music and dancing, dancing, shaking their butt, not in a good, not in a sexy way, not in a good way, and, and they call it the Booty Scooty, oh god, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, this show's garbage, and it's not sexy, it's not attractive, it's not good. And so, trust me, it's not hot at all, it's fucking gross. How is this for kids? Oh, and there's one episode where Raven shows her legs, where she tries to be sexy. How is this for kids? I don't think she's hot. Maybe in Deep Heart and the old show, but not in this one. But, there, and, and yes, there's an actual episode where Raven tries to show off her legs, where she thinks she's sexy by showing off her legs, and I'm sitting here like, how is this for fucking kids? How is this for kids? Who are you trying to appeal to, Tucker Network? It's like T seven. So who seriously? Who is this? Who is this for? This is not for old fans because you're shitting on them. I mean, yeah, you reference an old show. Like yes, this show, you know, does tributes to the old show. But half the time, it shits on the old show. So and it's just and it's trying to be like for it's trying to be too kids and, and for new kids. So who the fuck is this for? Who are you appealing to? So you know clearly it's just Y T V Y seven. So I'm sitting here like. Okay, you're clearly appealing to kids. You're appealing to young kids. So who you, who's this for? Who's this for? Who are you appealing to? So I mean, like, and, and I'm just like, and, and fuck, just fuck me. And, and by the way, um, Raven in the show is not as near sexy in the old show. Like Raven in the old show might have been kind of hot looking in the old show. Like she looks better in the evening art too, Raven. But no, Raven looks a lot attractive looking in the old show. In this show, Raven looks ugly. And just I don't get, I, I don't get it. Like, no, she's not hot at all, and it's, it's fucking stupid. Like, she's not sexy, she's not hot, they, they, make, they think she's hot and attractive. No, it's stupid, it's, uh, the, the animation's about, okay, it's, it's, it's it, 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 first of all, the animation designs are not that good. Like, the animation does not fit these characters. Like, the animation just doesn't, like, fit very well. Like, I just don't like the designs, it's just too kiddish, it's just, a, it's just a different look. I don't like it. It's silly and stupid, and you know it. And it's really, and the show is really stupid. Unintentionally, intentionally, I don't care. I fucking hate it. The animation's not good. I cannot stand it. And, to, and, and, and this show is just fucking garbage. The animation is... I don't think the animation... I don't think, I don't think it's good. The animation is not fit design. I don't, like, I don't like the designs of the characters. I know it's trying to be different. Anime, I know the animation's trying to be different, but I don't care. I don't like it. I don't know if it's trying to be intentional or not, but it's... Well, it's... No, it's trying to be intentional. It's stupid. It's bad at that, but... Intentional... But it's so bad. I you know the satire is trying to be intentional. But if that's the case, it's fucking bad satire. It's, it, it's bad intentional comedy, and it's bad satire comedy. It's god-awful. It's the worst satire I've ever seen in my life. It's fucking awful. This show's trash. This show just... Fuck. Fuck, okay? But like, listen. This show... I swear to fuck is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Like why? Why does this exist? Just please just just die. And I remember they even exploit people who hate the show, which that's even worse. Don't do that. Zero out of ten, fuck this show. But let me just tell you something. I hate the creators of the show. This show fucking sucks and it's god awful. This show is shit. Um I'm glad I'm it. this show is shit. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. And, and zero out of ten. I give the show zero out of ten. I give this show 0 out of 10, okay? No rating at all. Worst thing you've ever seen. Trash. Do not watch it. No rating. You know, I, I pretty much give it no rating. This show, uh, I don't think it even deserves no rating at all. No rating, okay? It's, it's, like I said, 0 out of 10 no, does, does not deserve any rating, okay? This show, uh, I'm not going to even give it a rating. Just fuck this show. I do not rec Do not watch it. Fuck this show. Fuck this show. It is the worst thing you've ever seen. And Oh, and the people that... And I hate the creators of the show. Oh, I remember they even tweet. They want to troll people who hate the show. I, and... If that's the case, fuck you and fuck these creators. And, 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 and seriously, there are times where the two creators of the show, of this show, basically troll people who 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 hate the show. So they basically exploit the people who hate the show and criticize it. Um, yeah, um, thanks for making me hate you even more. Wow, now you made people hate you even more. 
Good job. Good fucking job. Fuck you within fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. I, I mean, just who does that? These people even said that they have not even watched the original Disgrace, but... They have not watched these people have even said they want to exploit people who hate the show. Like, well, if you hate the show, we're going to exploit, make fun of it. We're going to make fun of you hating that. If, and if that's the case, then that's, don't do that. You're explo so if you're exploiting people who hate the show, who, who dare criticize the show, then fuck you. Congratulations. You made people more hate you even more. You basically got more people hate. You basically have more angry fans out there who, who are against you. Now. You basically create, you basically, you know, create more people who hate you even more. So fuck you, don't do that. So why do you do that? Like, you think you're funny when you do like, oh, we're, we're gonna like, we're gonna make people who hate us. We're gonna make fun of people who hate us? No, fuck you. Fuck you. These people are terrible. They're a disgrace. The internet is angry with them, rightfully so. And oh, and I even remember that they, they even said they haven't even watched the original. So I, I was just, I'm just like, what? You, like the two creators, I, can, I don't even care about, the, I don't even, I don't even care about their fucking names. Their names don't matter. So the two creators, the, people, the two people that created this show, they basically admitted and said that they have not even watched the original, they have not even watched the comic and show. So, let me get this straight. These two guys have not even read the comic, or at least even, at least understand the material, at least understand the material, have not, at least understand the material of it. They have not even watched the show. They have not even watched maybe a snippet of the original show. And I'm sitting here dumbfounded, like, why the fuck would Cartoon Network hire these people? Why the fuck... Should you even make this show and hire these people? Seriously. What do you do? These people can go fuck themselves. Why would Cartoon Network even hire these people? Cartoon Network is fools if they, when they even hire these guys. When they even hire these people. When they even hire these guys. Why would you even make this show? Why make this show? Why? Why, 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 why? Who is this for? Why are you just fucking... Our, it, it, my, I mean, yes, it's about greed and money. Court, it's, you know, of course, but it's... Fu Look, I know, it's about greed money. Look, I mean, of course, it's about greed money. It's just, it's a corporation. It's a shitty corporation at that. You know, it's just about corporate money. But still, it's like, it's like you just want to fuck around with people. It's like you want to be an asshole with people, I swear to God. I mean, I, I mean, they are basically fucking around with people. They literally are just trying to just screw over life. I, I, I feel like at, at this point. But um, I'm done with my little tangent right there. Let me just say this. This show, just why? I mean, this show, I mean, well, I mean, the names don't matter. I mean, I don't even care about their names. Fuck their names, but... Well, their names don't matter. I don't even fuck, fuck their names, but... The fact that they, like, they just... I mean, oh my god, the fact that they don't even watch the show, it's stupid. And the fact that they literally are exploiting people that like the show can go fuck themselves, but... I, I'm just like, why? Why, why, why? T-Gens Go is really stupid, you know it. I mean, the fact that, I mean, I mean, just, why? Like, they're basically trolling people. Like, they, they're, tro they're trolling you guys. They're just trolling you guys. And I hate it. And why does it exist? Why is it even here? And, and the fact that, God, like, they want to do that, just the, they haven't watched the original. How fucking stupid and look, peop the internet was angry at them, rightfully so, okay? People were angry at this show, rightfully so. Understandably show. Like, I, I mean, they have, then you sh not sure. I mean, people, the internet was mad at them, rightfully, I mean, listen. The internet was mad at them, rightfully so, okay? Like, in order people, the, these guys shouldn't even be in, in this, these people should not even be in the industry. They should not even have a job. They should not even have a job. Just, okay, like, Seriously, I, I just cannot stand it, and I cannot stand god-awful shows like this, okay, Teen Titans, and, and, I, and I'm just gonna just say my end point here, okay, listen, so all I'm gonna say is Teen Titans Go is the wor is one of the worst shows I've ever seen, maybe it's not the worst show I've ever seen, but it's like one of the worst animated shows, maybe it's not the one of the worst, maybe it's not the worst animated show, because trust me, there's worse, there's be trust me, there's worse stuff out there, trust me, there's even worse god-awful things out there, don't get me wrong, but I do believe Teen Titans Go is one of the worst animated shows out there. I, I do believe, t I, I, I do think Teen Titans Go is one of the worst animated shows I've ever seen in my life, yes. So, so that's my thoughts on Teen Titans Go. Teen Titans Go is a disgrace. Teen, Teen, Titans, Go, Teen Titans Go should not exist. Seriously, Teen Titans Go should not exist. Teen Titans Go is awful. And in, 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 in the end of the day, Teen Titans Go is just an unbearable watch. It's a piece of shit. It's, and it, it's just a very... Un 
a very unbearable show to watch. Let me put it like that. So, uh, enough of my little tangent. That's all I gotta say. So that's, so, okay, so don't worry. So right now, so, I'm pretty much over my little tangent right there. And that's pretty much all I gotta say. Oh, and the creators that made this show, I got a little message for you. Sorry about that. I'm done. Just gotta get that off my chest. Gotta get that off my chest. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. But that's all I gotta say. I just wanna put that on the record. I just wanna put how I feel about the show on the record. Just wanna put my thoughts how I feel about the show on the record, guys. And... And yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's all I gotta say about T-Dens Go. And, and so guys, those are my thoughts on T-Dens Go. So... I hope you like my video, and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Like, seriously, please subscribe if, if you want to. If you want, I'm, not, I'm not forcing you. I'm not putting a gun on your, on your head. If you want to, that's fine. Um, but I hope you like my channel, and I hope you like my videos, and there'll be more to come, and thank you very much. And um, and, and so, guys, um, I'm the Rich Critic, and I'm out. And I'll see you guys later, and uh, bye, and uh, peace out. Okay.